Cause like a winter Wherever you are around the world, welcome and thank you for joining us. This is the Circle of Insight, the show about everything in human behavior. I'm Dr. Carlos. Today, we're going to take a look at the personal side of super fitness model Timea Mayorova. Timea was voted most popular fitness model by the readers of Flex Magazine. Timea is one of the most photographed fitness models in the world. She has over 200 plus magazine covers internationally in the fitness industry. In addition, in year 2003, she signed under contract none other than with Joe Weider, co-founder of the IFBB and the world's leading publisher of fitness-related magazines. She also became a part of the Weider athlete team and later progressed to Weider Global Nutrition. But that's not it. Tamiya has also traveled all over the world doing seminars and appearances, and now she is a proud mom creating products like her Pregnancy Workout DVD, Pretty Lean Fat Burner, and now her new release called Hot Mama coming out on Amazon.com. Let's welcome to the circle, Tamiya. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very happy to be here. Now, before we get started, because I know we want to learn a lot more about you, but I want to learn a little bit about your history. So where are you from? I was born in Czechoslovakia. At the time it was Czechoslovakia. Now it's only Slovak Republic. It got separated in 89, Slovak Republic and Czech Republic. And, but I'm also half Hungarian from my dad's side. I speak both languages and, and um, I competed in both countries. So. so you speak three languages? Actually, I speak little Russian too. Four so. languages? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you have any brothers and sisters? I have two brothers. They all live back in Slovakia. I'm born in a very oh. small town of 2,000 people south of Slovakia, close wow. to the Hungarian borders. And, um, and I left very early, luckily, and lucky to live in Los Angeles. Yeah, there's a couple of things. I definitely want to get to that part of the story because I know you, left, you did leave early to come to, to the United States. But before we get to that, um, now you lived as a teenager. You actually, that was a communist state, wasn't it? Yes. No, it was. Yeah. Um, it was actually... Tough growing up there, but very good upbringing. My, my dad and mom was very strict to me, which is great. I learned a lot of discipline and, and um, I studied, uh, I graduated to become a physical therapist in the capital in oh. Bratislava, which I enjoyed. And that's where I started, you know, doing weights and, and started reading the Czechoslovakian edition of Muscle and Fitness. And that's how this whole fitness world, all of a sudden, just I uh, started dreaming about it. We were talking about that earlier. It was uh, Corey Everson was the one that motivated you, I guess? You yes. read about her? Oh, I, I read about her. She was a um, six-time Miss, um, Miss Olympia at a time. And I loved her symmetry, and she looked strong, yet still very feminine. I always liked little muscle. I was always very athletic. I loved always doing sports and played football and soccer with the boys. Oh, wow. Jeez, really? <laughs> I have two brothers, so for me, it was like I was always end up doing something physical. And Corey Everson captured that for me. She looked so strong, and I was like, wow. Her story was so amazing, so strong, living in Venice, g uh, training in Gold Gym, and mm -hmm, getting right. a contract with the biggest uh, guy who made the whole fitness industry, Joe Weider, and she became a spokesperson traveling the world, and I was like, oh, I wish to have her life. Like, why I born here, you know? Like, why I born in a small <laughs> country of six million people? Like, it's never gonna happen for me, you know? <laughs> Actually, that's a question. We talked a little bit about that off camera. A lot of, I'm assuming a lot of people in Slovakia, your age, 15, 16, or 17, it probably looks like America is so far away. It's a, it's a dream to go over there. Absolutely. And it is kind of where the dreams come true, you know. It's actually so far to get me the whole day to just fly here and dealing with the jet lag. But it's far away. You, you, I literally feel it when I go back uh, not just being in a different continent, it's just, it really feels far away. Mm. And uh, I always love going back home. Now America become my home. I'm American citizen and, oh, wow. and uh, I'm, I'm just, I just feel lucky that I was strong enough to build in my dreams. And I said, no matter what, I know it's gonna happen. And, and I set goals, I, I stayed disciplined and little by little, you know, it started happening. So now, when you look at that, it's such an amazing journey you took from over there. So nothing really stopped you in your mind. You didn't think of anything. You thought, this is what I wanted, this is what I'm going to do, and you did it. 
I never forget my mom was like, why are you studying English? Because until then we, were, we could just study Russian. And my mom is like, Paris is right here. Like, you like Paris? Like, study French, you know, or Germany is right here. I was like, no, mom, I'm going to study English because I want to go to America. <laughs> <laughs> what did she think about you becoming a fitness mom? Uh, she actually always supported me. My dad, he was always so busy. He was a teacher and always just having all kind of events. He didn't really know what I was doing. But my mom, she actually, she always kind of supported me and, and keep fingers crossed for me. But when I won the first, when I was 19 years old and I won, uh, I was second in my first competition and no one knew it. My mom ended up reading it in the newspaper the next day. I was like, what, 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 what competition did you want? So, and then since then, she become my fan. And since then, she start following what I'm doing. Really? And, and other cousins and part of family, like the whole family Man, started. 19 years old. That was my first show. And then at age 20, I win the Slovakian championships. And I was competing all over Europe. And in 97, I become world fitness champion. And I had to be overall to become um, qualifying to the Mr. Fitness Olympia, which is the biggest professional competition uh, yeah. that's the Joe Weathers Olympia and I qualified to New York and I got my ticket and invitation and uh, that was just amazing. You must have been ecstatic. I was competing with Corey, <laughs> you know, like Monica Brandt and Carl Monica Sample, Brandt, right. all these big names. I was the I was <laughs> on fire and and I was just so I couldn't even sleep, I never forget. I was just so excited. <laughs> I have to say it was very difficult to get the visa. I mean, I was 20 years old. I, I tried to ask for my visa 2021 and I showing this invitation that I'm going to America and the, um, then the consul looks at me, sorry, honey, I'm not getting the visa because you will never come back. And really? You can, yes. And you can, if, if you apply, you can only can apply every 10 months. So I had to stay home for 10 months. Now, was it communist at the time you left? No. Okay. So it was no. over. It was over, but still, it, it was for Slovakia very hard to get the visa at, at, at those times. Wow. So I didn't even get it right away. I had to stay home. I was already packed. <laughs> they broke my heart. I was like, I have to. So I had to wait 10 more months. And um, so it was so many obstacles until finally I get here. So I'm telling you, the first two months, I sometimes I would wake up middle of the night because I thought I'm dreaming this. Like I'm dreaming <laughs> that this is happening. I could imagine. I can't even imagine. Now, uh, just backpedal a little bit. Uh, you said you were 19 when you won the first uh, competition, but that was actually the very first competition in Slovakia itself. Yes. A year before that was the first fitness show ever, mm. and that's when I saw it in the news, and that's where I got my idea, like, what a perfect uh, competition. It's not just a beauty show, but it's actually you represent the lifestyle. You have to do something athletic. We, it was like a gymnastics or dancing routine. So we had to show your athleticism. So I thought that that would be something for me because I always, I always was just a little bit, you know, more as an athlete and a tomboy. So it, it fit for me. And I thought, wow, this is maybe the way to get out of the country because I tried to get leave Slovakia. Like how I'm going to get out of here and go to the U.S.? <laughs> well, maybe as an athlete, right? And that's that's how it started. I, I, um, I become Slovakian champion, and I said, okay, now I have to find sponsors. I have to be one of the best, win some shows until I get world champion, and I might qualify for the biggest show. Now, this is going to be interesting. You told me we you know it's a communist state. So, how was it working out in a Slovakian gym compared to here? Is it different? or Is it the same? Actually, now it become much better, and. Um, it's just when the, when the, um, when everything opened, you know, the borders, every, now it's just really, really high end also. But mm. at the time, oh. it was just basic gyms, no much supplements. You didn't have, um, I was training, not even every city had gyms. Like at the time in a small town where I was raised, we didn't have a gym. I literally, I was training in the basement. In the basement, um, doing what? doing i tried doing squats and dumbbells i used the bench like whatever i could right <laughs> but little by little it become better and that was one of just uh, i remember the first year that all these opportunity having better machines the supplements were high end i could afford a trainer before i couldn't even afford a trainer and so all of a sudden i started making money and become a champion and getting sponsors 
So as a professional, I I just had the best, and and I I was just flying. I remember I was I used to go running on the Ocean Avenue on Santa Monica, oh, and and I was just looking at it's a beautiful mountain, and I was looking at the water, and I was like, wow, like what a life! And I know all these Slovakians <laughs> are jealous that it that it happened. So it was just cool. It was very cool. I because it, it just felt it it was the great satisfaction because I I tried it for four years. You know, it was four years being amateur competitor and dealing with politics and not having money and try to get sponsors. So when it mm. finally happened, it was like, oh, good, I deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> How was it dieting over there in Slovakia in the first years? Did you have access? Because here you know you have all these you got Whole Foods. And uh, all these, it's a lot easier in uh, California. The best. Here is the best. You have low fat milk you have you had fred free cheese like you have all yeah. kind of stuff right <laughs> over there nothing i i never forget i was eating these sardines they were these little i was just selling to somebody the other day and they had even the head on like on sardines <laughs> sardines i made them i steamed them and i ate the whole thing <laughs> Because, ah. I know, because it's good for me. Yeah. <laughs> did you have any dates during that period? <laughs> and I overdid it. I just was yeah. a little fanatic. I didn't have a trainer. I did. I just mm. learned everything on myself. I was always overtrained and I was over dieted, which made me tired. <laughs> oh, I looked tired. Um, it's actually doing it the opposite way. You have to rest. You have to sometimes eat more. Just balancing it out. So, but I learned, you know. Um, but definitely going to the U.S. and having all these options and and the best food and everything is organic and and it was just really really nice. Yeah, it's a whole different. You world appreciate indeed. that when you from when you know the opposite. You know you really appreciate it. Well, let me ask you that. So that's a kind of an interesting twist because you're coming from Slovakia. Everything's given to you here in a sense. You have access to everything. Did that make it harder for you at one point? I mean, did you get mentally more lazy or did you get more excited and more motivated because you had all these foods? But you also have a lot of bad foods around you too. Actually, because it was so hard the first four years and I suffered so much and that it, it was almost like such a satis satisfaction for me that I just had no limits. It's almost hmm. like it was so hard that I almost, the negative what made, motivated me to make it better because it oh. was sometimes so hard that all of a sudden when it become reality, I was like, wow, I'm on fire now. No one can stop me and I can just be the best. <laughs> like I hired the best coach. I was driving all the way uh, to Pasadena because I find the best gymnastic coach and I was doing a gymnastics routine because I was uh, competing in the fitness. Oh, that's right, yes. So we, I had to do the best routine and all these American girls, they were amazing. They were gymnasts since they were age four, you know. I, did, I couldn't have... Uh, afford having a trainer and I was in a very small town my mom would have to take me with the bus to the next small town to wow. hire a coach so I I I was all the way going to Pasadena get the best coach gymnastic coach dancing dancing coach so you so just went crazy I was just wow. literally I was sleeping training and eating was that heaven for you? It was heaven. <laughs> the first two years, I didn't go to a restaurant. I didn't go to, to Disneyland. I was just living in LA. I didn't know much what's going on. I got lost because it was no GPS and I had to look the map where I, I am. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, yeah, the Thomas guy. <laughs> yes. Nice. Welcome to Adelante. This is Adelante Recovery, and my name is Yvette Kuglin, and I'm part of the staff. Adelante Recovery Center has helped people in dual diagnosis for five years. We accept most PPO insurances and provide luxury accommodations and 24-hour support. To speak with an admissions counselor, call 1-888-242-4455. A lot of time we don't even know what's wrong with us and sometimes we need to get away to figure that out. So if you want to go for a little retreat out in Corona Del Mar, which is a confidential location, we're here to help. So we're only a phone call away. Thank you. So how many hours a week were you working out? 
almost every day something. Um, but I remember um, my coach, he literally, today it's day off. You can't do anything because it's recovery time. You have to recover. So I would train three days, weight training, and then day off. And then the fourth day I would start again. And then I would do gymnastics class three times a week. On top of that. Uh, three times a week. And um, uh, yes, weights three times a week. Uh, and also cardio four times a week. Yes. That's a lot. And stretching, and then you have to, you get a massage, you have to stretch. Like, it's it's literally, it's a, it's a full-time job. Because all yeah. these girls, they work hard, and you want to be the best. I mean, in that level, that you top five in the Miss Olympia or Arnold Classic, that's the highest level you can get. So you really, you know, um, you know, that's why you're doing it for a couple of years, and then... Did you I, ever get tempted? I mean, did you ever want a pizza, a piece of cake or anything? Or did it... Just like no way, I wouldn't. When I had the show, actually, certain time it was I, I couldn't even thinking about it because I know I can't have it, because uh, my shape wouldn't be the same on that night on on uh, the day of the show. Um, but you know, I always worked my brain. That pizza is always gonna be there. That cake is always gonna be there. You know, uh, you know, it's <laughs> it was more important for me to be a champion or get that medal going. <laughs> the fabulous thing about her because she's able to twist things around when it's negative and look at the positive of it. That's a yes. true champion right there. Yes. That's a true champion. All right, I know how the fans want to know. So what food will weaken Tamiya? <laughs> Which is the one that really puts her in uh, Oh, hot fudge Sunday. Hot fudge Sunday? Hot fudge <laughs> yes. Sunday. All right, there you go. Hot fudge Sunday. <laughs> I love that. So the competitors yes. out there know if you want to beat her, you're going to have to give her a hot foot Sunday. Oh, <laughs> yes. So uh, your brothers, you have brothers. Um, did they motivate you at all to work out when they were younger? Or did they work out? Or? They were athletic. They were swimmers, actually. They win swimming competitions. Oh, okay. And they were athletic, but they all have kids, got married. So they they in a small town, everything is cooking. Uh, so Sundays are all about food. So... Ooh. They all gain weight and they are just like <laughs> laughing at me because I have a twin brother and he they mm. used to be in the same shape and now he has a little belly. So sometimes like, Timaya, today actually I went running because the summer is coming and I have to lose some weight. <laughs> so I motivate them now, you know, like it's embarrassing, you know, she's teaching others and motivate others and we are heavy here. So I'm trying. We Skype and I'm trying, you know, even his kids and try to motivate everybody just to be healthy. Like, it was funny because my mom, everybody who visits me, I have no junk food in the house. And... Um, surprise, surprise, yeah. No junk food. In, I, we, we cook healthy and then in the weekend we always have a treat, you know. We either have a... Um, buy some cookies or have a glass of wine with a beautiful dinner and stuff and and but everybody goes home and and skinnier so no hot no no alcohol during the week no oh, no no now you did have a belly for about three or four months oh. <laughs> how was that for you how was it working out being pregnant it was so beautiful it was just exactly how I how I thought it's gonna be and um, I I was always wondering if I'm able to stay at least a little bit fit and I can exercise and 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 it, it was amazing. It, it it become that way. I think a lot of it is mental. I wasn't mm -hmm. overeating. The idea that eating for two, it's a very old idea which not true. You literally eat 300 calories more a day and oh, interesting. and yes, and you eat healthy. I already was eating healthy, so we just add up a little bit more calories. Um, and actually it's hard to eat like I, my belly, when, when the belly grows, it hurts. I don't know how people eat so much because <laughs> it literally, I was in pain when my belly started really growing in size. And uh, I exercised, I created a pregnancy workout DVD oh, that they can check it out. <laughs> some ladies out there who are pregnant and they want to get motivated and it's on my website. And, and I loved it. I went for a walks on the beach. Everything is basically stay the same. Wow. They say you shouldn't start anything new while you're pregnant. So if you play tennis, if you, if you were a runner, if you were um, doing weight training before, then you can do it, you know, hmm. just less intensity. Wow, that's amazing. So you stayed yes. working out the whole time and eating well the whole time. I literally, my due date was Monday, for example. I was I'm swimming. Scared. I was swimming and doing weights on Sunday, and I give birth Monday like nothing. <laughs> when did you go back to work out? Tuesday? 
Exactly. Like two <laughs> weeks later, I was like, the doctors was like, you should wait four weeks. After two weeks, I went, you know, for checkups and doc, I'm kind of like full of energy. Can I go to the gym? <laughs> you had a girl or a boy? A girl. A girl. Did she come out with a little six pack or? Well, exactly. They were <laughs> laughing like, because I would, you know, we were um, always, they see me in the gym. They were laughing like the baby will come out with the dumbbells, you know. <laughs> How old is she now? She's almost three years old. Three almost years three, old. Two and a half. And, and very athletic, a lot of fun. Actually, I'm just starting taking her gymnastic classes, um, doing the Santa Monica stairs with me, believe it or not. Ooh. People were taking pictures the other day because she did three. And I, she did it three times? She did it three times. And she's three years old? Yes. I can't even do one. Wow. Can you imagine? I know. People Holy were like, cow. that's something is, you know, <laughs> going on. What she's on. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Um, I know a lot of women always wonder, well, how long is it going to be to get rid of this weight, especially when you have the baby? How long did it take you to get back into shape? Uh, Believe it or not, it's all water weight. Well, I, I literally weighed like 21, 22 pounds. You know, it was a lot of water weight. I didn't... It was all the baby was growing. I I didn't gain on fat much, and so that's why I tried to tried it to motivate girls eat healthy and just move. You know, you don't have to gain 40, 50, 60 pounds because then mm. it's harder and it takes longer to get rid of the weight Absolutely. after you give birth. So that's why I just you know if you move, the the mo it's all mental. Just you don't want to stay home watching TV and eating chips because that's when the pounds start adding up. If you start having these this thinking, then you just have to go to the beach, have a walk, or, for example, I had a running stroller. When she born, I bought a running stroller that I can run, and the baby loved it. She was sitting in the stroller, looking around. So sometimes when, when my mom wasn't around, so it was a problem to get a nanny, I, I would put her in a stroller in the middle in the room, or a chair, and she would watch me, and I would do weight training middle in my room you know i would have dumbbells <laughs> or ba bands and i would train and she was just having fun in 30 40 minutes i was done and the baby had fun so you just try to make it happen even if you can't leave the house then you do it at home or you go for a walk you get a running stroller you can do it it's mm -hmm. but it's 80 percent of nutrition so it's just very important kind of the balance high protein healthy fat and healthy carb diet and I like that other point, too. You mentioned earlier that in your house, you don't have any of those bad foods. So it's a lot easier if you don't have any temptation floating around. Exactly. Yeah. And no distraction. I go to a restaurant, I literally, I would just ask what I want. I don't want to look at the menu because you get distracted. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good idea, too. Yes, I tell them exactly. Fish, grilled, can I have spinach? Or you just, you, you, you actually can ask whatever you want. So what's in your hot mama book? The Han Mama book, actually, it's a little bit talks about the culture shock I basically had when I got to this country. And, and I tried to mm -hmm. compare how I was living over there in the circumstances we talked about, you know, like not even eating properly because I sometimes couldn't even afford it and had, having hard time, you know, getting sponsors and then comparing that the dream coming true in my life, living here, having finally the money and the sponsors and I try to compare that um, what got me going what got me motivated and then when it was here I just uh, I just did it you know it's a fabulous book I highly recommend it hot mama here it is look at the cover especially for mamas out there who who you know <laughs> who wants to stay in shape and lose some body fat check it out a lot of I have a lot out. of motivational tips on there this is fabulous three-year-old look at this unbelievable <laughs> so let's go now we're, this is a series about women so now we're gonna get a little deeper into the head of Miss Mariorova here um, how would you define the woman of today the woman of today, it's, uh, they're so powerful. If I come, it's, I always looked up to American girls and because, the, because here, um, American ladies, they always, it was different than in Slovakia. Sometimes we, we, we felt that we can't say much or the man is in the house who, 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 al uh -huh. who always, you know, um, bringing the, the food home and the money. And, and we were a little bit like, you know, um, always behind the man. And it was kind of, culture is that way, and it's kind of, um, um, in especially the regime I was raised. So 
that's why it, for one reason I loved the freedom and I loved the America that it gives you opportunities yeah. and also girls and ladies you can get successful you can get a business you can you can literally do it like guys do and I didn't see that much growing up back uh, there now it's changed you know now I see successful ladies out there and oh, really? and I yes it oh, changed good. but but it, this was the the first time we really started to see in America and it, it actually dri dri it, it it made me driven Let me see, but that's interesting you mentioned that because the Slovakia didn't slow you down even though like you said the men is the head of the house and the woman's back here yeah. She's not the head. But you had something inside you that I said, know. excuse me, <laughs> I want to get out of here. And it's funny. That's interesting. <laughs> my mom and dad, they actually would tell me, even as a kid, it's just I, if I put something in my head, I was just like, I'm doing it. So I think that's the, this the mix in me. My dad was very driven. So mm -hmm. is my mom was very hardworking. And the uh, Hungarians are more fiery people. So I think that mix... And how I was raised, I mean, dad really raised us tough, you know, tough I'm bringing. I think, um, and just to be honest, I wasn't really happy. I, I, I just wanted more from life. I, I wanted to, I was very adventurous. It was for me um, to see what I can do. You know, a lot of girls ask me when I go back because I, I promote this fitness show every year and I try to motivate the girls and and they feel comfortable at home because their parents they help them out and so sometimes it's hard because you challenge yourself what is this not happen you don't have money you have to find a job you don't have mommy come home and she cooks for you and she pays the rent so but I was not afraid of those challenges and and I think that made me even stronger and and like we said, the negatives pushes you that I wasn't very happy, meaning meaning because the circumstances, I, I, mm -hmm. I wanted to be a champion. I felt, you know, it was harder because of the politics or didn't have sponsors, didn't have money for the sport. So everything was so negative that I was like, oh, it, it has to happen. So it has to happen. It has to happen. So that was the thing you said to yourself, it has to happen. Yes. What would you tell the, the young girls out there who are trying to find themselves? who are trying to get their lives going, what would you tell them? I think you told them a little bit already. Yes, I, I just so important from a young age, really think what you have talent for, what you like to do, and just go for it. Because sometimes we waste time on things. I see young people just waste time. A couple of years, three, four, five years go by and not really doing much, you oh, know? Yeah. If you go after your goals from such a young age, you have a chance to really become good. When you're young, you're driven, you have the energy. So just find those goals and find what you like to do and go after those goals. That's great advice. That's great advice. Excellent. Is she fabulous or what? <laughs> Passionate, powerful, beautiful, smart. She's got it all. <laughs> Let's see that again. Look at that. Unbelievable. So Tamea, where do we find more information about you? You can find, find me on Facebook at Tima Majorova. You can find me on Instagram. And you can find me at TimaMajorova.com. Excellent. Thank you so much for being Thank here on The you. Circle. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Remember, our motto is simple. Wherever there's psychology involved, even in Hungary, Slovakia, we're going to be there. We'll see you next time, everyone.